Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Anastasia here. I haven't been filming for almost a month now, I think. I was away with my boys and um, yeah, we were having a summer holiday, but when you were parenting, you were just parenting in another location, so I couldn't really do my work. And I'm finally back home here to Abu Dhabi was doing some projects and this week I'm working on slight updates around the house so that's why I thought I'll share some of the process and some of the results with you some of my favorite purchases so yes yeah, stay tuned I'm mostly working um, on the kids room but also doing some small like things to make my bathroom nicer and this room is pretty much all is all fine for me i also want to see some new textiles for the sofa maybe to add some new cushions and um, a basket because they just wear and tear and we use them a lot to just like store some of the like throws and blankets it happens that i realized in here in uae because um during the summer months we don't have much of the outdoors time so we do spend a lot of time in doors so that's why especially when you also work around the house i mean work around the house as a for for your family and then also when you work from home like me and spend a lot of time around the house it actually matters uh, like some small things they like matter a lot so i was like looking at all the small detailing and i actually asked like my maintenance team so this is a rental place and um, especially when it's a rental place it's it comes with the challenges to make it look the way you want you don't you can't change much you can't change the materials but i asked you know the maintenance to come and do some painting and do some small touch-ups around the kitchen area and i'm just gonna check what else uh, needs to be done. Of course we can paint the walls here. It's not that it's not allowed and we can do some like more crazy decorations just when we move out. Eventually we'll have to return it back to its state which is not so um, hard to do. Some people actually do paint the walls uh, in these apartments but I don't think it's really necessary. Um, yeah so um, and I wanted to show you my updates here here you probably can see i have some new earrings i put new piercing holes in my lobe on the side i put two and on the side i have uh, one new um they are almost month um old and it's still like healing it's not properly healed yet i just recently put a new um the like, gold and diamond earring i just had a medical one uh that's why I, like i was not probably filming so much um and i was just waiting for it to heal and this weekend is gonna be my birthday so um i was just like planning it to to have it like some Something new for my birthday and this one is really cute this one is by Maria Tash uh, the triangular so some of them I got, got these these three I got um, is for at the gold bazaar and it was not so expensive so everything uh, in total I paid around 5,000 dirhams so around 1,000 pounds every uh, each earring was around like 250 this one was more expensive because it's a uh, designer and um, but it's made in a way that it's much easier to put it on and it's just more comfortable because it's a flat back so I guess now I'll have to buy this special kind of earrings because they're much more comfortable because when you sleep it hurts slightly and uh, this one is almost healed I, yesterday I was sleeping on that side and it started bleeding again which is not really great um, yeah and this is what I'm wearing basically uh, my like work outfit <laughs> for the day something comfy um i like the lightweight jumper because of the ac uh and during the summer it's like i think the the perfect outfit for me when i go out i also wear a tank top underneath because it's just getting a bit cold and um yeah the long uh, white jeans just because to break it down and um comfy but you know like more a sophisticated um outfit and 
yesterday I spent the whole day in this outfit shopping Ikea and uh, with the sneakers on. Sneakers are so comfy for me now. I just love wearing sneakers. I'm also doing some um, wardrobe um, uh, refresh. Um, so I got some new hangers just to make everything nice and white here. I did sometimes recycle the uh, uh, dry cleaning hangers but they're not looking uh, you know nice and sharp. I don't mind everything to be just different. I don't want to just like trash all this hangers that I already have because I really like them uh, but I just want them to like match. So yes these are my clothes that are returned from the holidays and I was wearing especially the shirt I was wearing it loads and this was just my favorite shirt ever. Uh, I was wearing it so many times it's such a good piece. Uh, please check out my capsule video that I did before for the holiday dressing. This was just perfect. I'm thinking of selling mm, or reducing like this suit because the color doesn't really work work for me I realized through trial and error it was like a nice item to have for the summer because it's a lightweight and I, I like traveling in a blazer because uh, you have the pockets and it's not bulky like a hoodie and that after um, I travel and it gets wrinkled I give it to the dry cleaners and then uh, they restore it and it looks new you know like if you have some kind of hoodie or a different type of jacket doesn't look as smart and it has a matching trouser so I probably will put it on Depop these are great I washed them just once but to be honest with the kids on the holiday I just wore it maybe once I was mostly wearing just like soft shorts and um, the skirt also I was just wearing once I mostly was wearing my cargo shorts and denim shorts and um, my knit knitted skirt by Prada but, uh, but when I returned <laughs> I got to wear these trousers a lot in my other trousers so it's actually so great to be uh, without kids for some time you can wear like you fancy and this is just the uh, things that are waiting for my back to work days but I also happened to just uh, think that I want to update my style slightly by like doing a little bit more like crazy items mm, because um, white, white kind of trousers uh, look good on me and I remember in uh, 2000s I was wearing the cargo pants a lot and I think I'll incorporate something like that to my winter wardrobe and I think it would just look nice for the for the reels and uh, we'll, I'll just go for like one or two and there are there's a few other items I wanted to show you I just let me see so basically everything is just happening here this is the ikea uh, that i got yesterday i really love this bag and it just stands here it's the color is so beautiful i'm so happy i purchased it and uh, you know when i was uh, on an airplane i was you were sitting on your seat and you can put it next to you and it's soft it doesn't doesn't like um, you know hurt you I, I like bags because they are made in a like nice type of leather and uh, yeah I didn't actually wear it as much on a holiday I mostly was wearing my straw totes so here in the closet you can see I'll show you my clothes and how I do stuff so uh, I was wa mostly wearing this tote for everything like for summer it was just it's just so perfect for any occasion I was just wearing this one it's just I swapped now to to wear enough my other one and uh, yeah I did travel with my hat I didn't take any of the smaller bags any of the black bags there was no need uh, so actually like for daytime for evening time I was always wearing this bag but I did not wear it for the beach for the beach I had a big um, Dior tote and I also had the Prada bag that I work a few times so in terms of wardrobes I really like to use these organizers but they just for me I like how they function but I, I don't always enjoy how they look and I think it would be nice to find like a luxurious kind of organizer but you also need to think about like how 
actually how long it would actually last you because they made it in a way that it's um, they have fabric around it and uh, you probably would need to dust it uh, a few times it doesn't really get you know dirty or anything because you put your clean clothes inside just maybe if, if you spill makeup accidentally so this would be nice and i think i and i had these uh, for my like lingerie and you know, like my sports stuff here it, it is fine but i just think because i also see it so much every day i would like to have a slightly different like more sophisticated design but in on the other hand it's it's kind of still working uh, i also use the same ones for boys i'll show you and after my trip to uh spain basically we we were in spain two weeks First we were in Poland. I took boys uh, to their granddad in the UK and then I was coming back to Abu Dhabi uh, via Zurich. And I spent uh, two days, not like it was two nights, but just one, one day in Zurich and one extra night. Basically uh, the, the connection was with uh, one like night stay in Zurich and then I realized like, why don't I just, uh, stay one extra day because I've never been it's such a beautiful like time to be in Europe especially in Switzerland in August because it doesn't get super hot and it's it was beautiful I, I think I just love the continental climate and uh, yeah because as soon as we landed in the UK you guys the island and uh, the weather is like so drastically different and I just I feel it with my skin so much and Switzerland I like it because it's quite similar to where I've grown up in Ukraine because it's also like continental and we're like surrounded with the nature with water of course we don't have as beautiful like nature and mountains uh, in Ukraine uh, but it was really nice and uh, I did also some shopping in uh, Zurich. I didn't film because I just didn't feel like uh, sharing that experience, but it was fun. I think I'll put something on my Instagram stories. Uh, but uh, I, yeah, when I travel, basically I try and not to do it like any ex extra shopping because I hate it when uh, you bought some new stuff and it doesn't fit into your suitcase, and then I have a lot of stress because of that because I always come with the kind of full suitcases so I only usually shop when I can you know take something out and put something in new uh, like for the bags or for the shoes like when I reduce like one item and got new items so that's what I do for the kids as well because uh, they uh, wear their clothes very actively and sometimes it just um, it needs to be updated so I just put some like very stained and washed out clothes in a charity box or so if it's like super ruined I'll put it in a trash and they get some new stuff so it's it's never like too much too many new things things and for me personally i thought uh that i could update some of my pajamas uh some socks i think it's always for me like a guilt-free shopping because yeah at first first thing is just uh that i had my uh, my stuff for too long and i quite still like could wear it it worked for me but it was not something that i was like enjoying uh to wear like it, it's it lasted me like some of the things were that i upcycled or I, like i had them made and uh, they were fine in terms of quality but the design just didn't you know didn't make me uh have an enjoyable experience of uh, getting dressed in my pajamas and i think it's just such a big part of my life now because i'm trying to improve my sleep patterns because i usually uh, go to bed really late uh, now because I find a lot of like fun things to do and uh, making it a ritual and uh, improving uh, sleep quality I think it's one of the most important things that you could do for yourself for your health for your productivity um, so I want to show you some of the stuff that I got in Zurich so they had a very beautiful just like 
the most gorgeous selection of um, underwear quality like multi-brand underwear and pajamas in the store that it was called I I need to find the name the name of the shop was uh, Jel Mila something like that so yeah the Zurich shopping it was like so amazing I've been to Switzerland before I, I just didn't have probably uh, enough like budget to spend I did check out the Hermes I didn't go to Chanel Emma store was really amazing like very big it was really be weird because I uh, the city itself is quite small and cozy and it seems like everything is really small but this, the shopping is actually very very impressive and uh, yeah the, the Hermes store is like three floors or something and very beautiful very nice stuff uh, very nice stock as well maybe not like on um, all days the other sh department stores I didn't actually go to Globus this time Globus has amazing food market I just was like walking in the city I actually didn't do like any research before so the first one I went to see was a Greta um, Greta is like a multi brand a bit like Harvey Nichols but um, I think I haven't been to Harvey Nichols before but I noticed that in the UK they don't do like so much like vibrancy like so much luxuries and I I didn't go to Paris as well I so saw for, for a few years so I can't really compare but from what I saw it was like very vast very rich selection and uh, because you know they buy for European complexion I just thought it was just so fun and German and Austrian and Swiss women they really really like the Ola Johnson and other like printed dresses and they wear them low and I was really impressed by the style of people around the street so basically as Greta was the first place where I went actually it reminded me a little bit of the Bergdorf Goodman because it also had the bar on the top so it feels like a very like old school place and there I'll show you what I got I got this beautiful uh, pajamas and um, the pajama and uh, like lingerie department was very small but still I saw some of the local brands they had a local brand that is called uh, Zimmerly uh, it's just the most like high-end quality of underwear that I've ever seen I think it's made in Switzerland so I, I got this uh, set this pajama it's a little bit like bright blue but I like it and it, it's cotton it's a very high quality cotton and um, yeah it was a bit pricey the brand is called La Lead Apri I'll see if I can link it for you basically I did have a pajama from very high quality cotton uh, that I bought before in India that's why I know that if you have like quality cotton it is like so amazing and it just looks good and it always like is there for you I don't like these pajamas anymore that like wash and tear and they ruin in a wash like the oil show I just don't do them anymore and that these ones are also quite easy to care for the other things that I got and the other shop was uh, called uh, I think it's I'm not sure how it's spelled it either gel molly or yel molly very big it's a bit like selfridges basically with a lot of like shoes and clothes and uh, on the top level a lot of like very nice uh, lingerie and underwear so uh, from Zimmerly I got I basically updated like old stuff that I had and uh, yeah this is a Zimmerly of Switzerland brand I look at the detailing at the seams and I look at the quality and size of the lace because a lot of brands they just like do a uh, lace that it's a little bit like bulky and it's not elegant it's not like fine and delicate lace and this type of lace is I, I see that it's very beautiful and I also look at the work how, how well it's like done and finished and um, if it's like done and finished 
very well you can see that this item will last you because some of the less expensive brands or like some of the brands that use a quality material but they don't have enough experience in making stuff they end up in garments that might have like really nice materials but they're not made and finished in a proper way and they also will not last you a lot so i had this experience with some of the younger brands that's why i unfortunately i don't really like new brands because they don't have enough expertise um in making stuff and this is some another set that i also got from the Yel Molly. I think this is also Zimmerly. This is so pretty. This is the prettiest print that I've ever seen. And this is a bit small. I think it was already sold out in there. And I matched it with the blue uh, cami. This brand is Luna Di Set. I think it's Italian brand. It might be a new brand, but still it's, I can see that it's made and finished really nicely. Uh, very nice and delicate lace and nice, you know, cut of the garment and another set this i have not yet really washed so i don't know how it came from the wash this was i already washed it i washed it on a delicate but i think next time i'll try to hand wash it so just the shape is really nice and uh, i think with this silk i need to research what exactly needs to be done to avoid you know like residue of the soap maybe that's why you use a little bit of vinegar so this set it's it's pink i usually don't do it but i think this color is just so gorgeous so yeah some some more underwear that i got as well and i'm a happy person now you know like it just re literally makes me um like happiest person when i'm at home and i have a nice pajamas and i know i have some new jewelry here and i you know I, you wake up a bit without makeup and you look nice <laughs> I think it just makes sense because these days I don't go out a lot uh, so investing in quality things for sleeping is, is a big thing for me. So yeah, let's see, uh, let me show you my bathroom setup and we will start doing some work here. So the challenges that we currently have that we don't have any storage integrated here uh this was you know yeah uh the design of the property management and we don't have the um, acrylic show like shower curtain that's why like you that's this is the setup that currently we have but there is an idea of installing an acrylic wall here without drilling because i think we're not supposed to drill in the on the tiles like but i think some of my neighbors they had the, this glued and it worked for them so basically the bathroom is very wide uh it doesn't have much so my idea is also to use some styling techniques to style it. I already have incorporated some wood here. I find that materials that are like a more glossy look better in a dim lighting and I try to avoid like plastic bottles so I want to hide them in some kind of organizer. This is new. <laughs> I just bought it yesterday. I realized that uh, a plant would make a uh, bathroom so nice and you can also see that I have a green towel so a combination of a little color uh, and change of materials would make a difference here I also need a makeup solution because I usually just like do my everyday makeup here in the bathroom I don't want to have another uh, place uh, another like specific area like a vanity table uh, to do my makeup because I just don't do it enough uh, although I now do it for filming but still I have this flexible setup now that I have a box and I usually have a box with my makeup and when I do my makeup sometimes um, usually is in a shower and I need to do it here where the lighting is better that's why I have this setup right now that I have a pillow where which I used to sit this is a recent my recent purchase and then I would take a box uh, with my makeup stuff and I I would oops and I would do it here um, so maybe we'll keep it like this I think my mom did it 
<laughs> she actually did it in the kitchen, but she had a similar box. I just have a box that is a little bit more elegant and I think it's fine when it's standing in there. But still, like some of these things I also want to use every day and I want to keep it flexible. So maybe I'll need to have like one compartment that will have some of my everyday stuff like mascara because I don't want to have two mascaras. I just want to have the same. So this is all of, all of my makeup basically, all of my professional makeup. I don't use it much every day. So some of my like BB creams I actually could keep in my bathroom. So when I don't do like proper makeup I actually don't need to pull it out but these like organizers are also quite tricky to find and find the ones that will work for you because I just I don't know why I bought this one I think they didn't have any others but I don't actually have so many products that are like lipstick style and that's why it doesn't really work for me this type of organizer so I'll try to check I was in at IKEA yesterday maybe I'll find some another like design of organizer that would work for me because you know everybody is different and yeah now i'll have a coffee and now i'm gonna start showing you some of the projects so i shared with you all of my like things and ideas oh i also didn't show you my uh shopping from uh all saints uh basically yeah it was a few uh days ago i was taking you to the airport in dubai and then i had some time to be in dubai and i i need to do uh to go to the jewelers uh, so i went to the jewelers and i uh this is what i usually do like i have a little like box and a pouch with uh, some jewelry that i need to uh sell like some something is broken something that needs to be fixed or something that i want uh, is it like cheap jewelry but i want to find the same item in uh, gold just because I, I want to have it lost so that's how i got the earrings and i had the time and you know like if you're a parent you never really have this opportunity to just like walk around and to find <laughs> uh, have enough time to like shop for yourself because i usually do shop for work basically uh, for like client inquiries and sometimes when I do like blogging but here I had an opportunity to just like go and I really wanted that um, I have this idea also that you know like your good um, if you have some specific good items uh, in your wardrobe they enjoy your experience and I want to like travel more to some of the city destinations and I like to travel not a spe not particularly in summer because we live here in very very summery environment and I had uh, this big plan of uh, making myself a new ski outfit and then another like medium like cold weather outfit or jacket that I could use uh, for like city traveling maybe uh, in spring and fall time so I thought maybe like a nice windbreaker would be something that would be useful and also for the England because English weather is always like that uh, a little windy a little cold uh, so my idea was to go to Prada uh, Burberry and I, I wanted to get something like you know like one like nice lightweight jacket or windbreaker that would just like last me many years would look polished and you know nice but I just uh, didn't like anything that much and then I went to All Saints and All Saints had like garments that I needed it was not exactly the material that I was looking for it was actually very different but it is just so nice and I, I remember that I was such a big fan of the All Saints I think I would I'm gonna do uh, a lot more um, let me actually show you what I got so some of the stuff that I got uh, from the All Saints this is like when I messaged my husband I said you know I found something that is cute a bit tucky uh, but I think it's cool and um, when I tried it I'm like when I saw it I was like oh my god it's, this is so weird it was in the sales section as well so I was like I never really like to check and browse the sales section. I like that it had like a military design and I, oh, I thought, okay, I'll just give it a try and let's see, maybe it would actually work. And uh, I never really wear 
leopard print, animal print. Like last time I wore it, it was like my early 20s. But I just, I really liked the combination of the prints and the way the pockets are made and like the just the proportions of the jacket is so nice that I realized that you know it's like it's this small thing that gives you like elevation in your outfit so if I would just have like plain like black coat or windbreaker it just doesn't look as fun like that other safari jacket that I have um, it just doesn't do the same but it also had a matching joggers but I thought that <laughs> That would be uh, too much and it didn't actually work so well together so for the England actually you don't like it's not usually that windy it's just a little bit like moist and cold so I realized that having a thin jumper and a jacket like this would be nice and um, yeah for the trap for traveling I wanted something that had pockets that was kind of like uh, lightweight soft I didn't really want something bulky because you know the challenge is when you travel sometimes you need you wear it and sometimes you put it in a suitcase and you don't want to have something that takes too much room and my other item is this one it's a bomber jacket from the men's section so the, it came in a couple of different sizes I got a small, I also tried um, extra small, it was just a little bit too tight and I tried the medium and extra large, like extra large was, was cool and like oversized but I think it will be like out of style uh, so I stayed with the medium and I also got like a long sleeve at the men's section, from the men's section in size extra small so I have a trip in mind that we're gonna take in uh, um, around September or October time and I know it's gonna be perfect uh, weather to wear it with and I think I'll wear it with the leggings and sneakers and uh, it's not like a top trend but this is just like so me because I always was really a fan of All Saints and uh, I remember when I was like even like much younger a lot of my friends were into like branded stuff and I actually I was never like into like designer stuff I think it's the same for me now and this is where this blog comes from because uh, I shop like luxury items for people but I don't actually like love designer like clothes for myself because I think I look better <laughs> in, in these stuff that I wear now I'm trying to incorporate some more and accessories for accessories yes I like to have them and yes also all uh, this printed jacket it looked really amazing with my new Louis bag and the uh, light jeans I'll post a couple of outfits for you so you'll see uh, and yeah this made me like so so happy uh, shopping again but intentional and you know something that designed to improve your life uh, this is uh, always a win.